Hi everyone. Okay, it's been a long while. I don't know if you noticed, I got a bit of a haircut here to deal with the very topic that I'm going to be speaking about today, which is hair loss with PCOS. Now, I did have uploaded videos um, about, you know, magnesium oil, iron supplements, and so forth. But let me just get back to the nitty gritty reality of what's happening here. First, before I even begin, is for those of you watching, make sure that you have your iron levels checked and your thyroid checked. Let's say results come back and your thyroid is off and you're taking medication. Just take the medication or just take the iron supplement if your iron is low uh, to see if that is assisting with your hair loss. And the reason I'm saying that is perhaps that's the solution. That was a missing link. However, if you're still having hair loss, then you're having a testosterone driven hair loss, uh, which is called you know, overdrive for DHT that's occurring on your scalp, that's weakening the follicles and plucking the hair off. So why is that happening? Is because your testosterone is too high. There's an imbalance within the system as we are we have with PCOS, but there's ways to control it. And I'm just going to go and, and speak about that. First one is a very basic one, and people don't like that one. It's exercise. Exercise balances hormones. It does. You need to exercise. Do some weight, some weight bearing, whatever it is. Exercise. Now supplementation. Salpimento is touted as number one to take to really uh, reduce the free you know, testosterone within your system. Extra testosterone, it's there to kind of redu uh, reduce that. So supplemento. NAC also reduces testosterone. And I also did upload about that supplementation. And also um, spearmint tea, again, drink that tea, is there it also reduces and androgens. Um, if you recall, like, you know, for the extra hair growth, then of course, it's going to assist with the hair loss. That being said, Vitex and Dong Kui are also a consideration when it comes to balancing the hormones. So at the end of the day, trying to control the extra test free testosterone is something that you need to be really looking into along with scalp health. So now let's say you're doing everything internally. We have to also look at how are you, how often are you washing? What scalp, what kind of scalp do you have? Is your scalp one with dermatitis like mine? You know, um, is it, does it have too much dandruff? Is it too oily? Is it too dry? Based on all those factors, you're going to have to figure out what's the best way to maintain your scalp health. I'll be doing a different upload with that later. The point of this video was to indicate that if you have a thyroid issue or an iron issue, contend with that first. See if that has solved the problem and then go to dealing with the DHT levels on your scalp. If you do not have those issues and your hair is falling, you need to tackle the testosterone overdrive and testosterone within your system to be able to stop that extra hair fall. So that is difficult, but uh, along with that, you have to also understand your scalp and its health. Because if you're overwashing or underwashing, whatever's happening, um, and it's clogging the, the, the far, uh, follicles in any way or damaging them, you're going to have ha hair loss that is more to do with the external factors than the internal. So these things have to be considered as well. I will be doing an upload on that. Just wanted to just throw that out there. So remember, your hair loss can be based on a number of factors. First, deal with those. If you're not diagnosed with any of those, then you got to uh, hit the DHT head on. That being said, I should also indicate that if you have a, a thyroid issue and then, or, or, and or iron issue and then you start supplementing or taking the medication and your hair is still falling, then you need to incorporate the DHT uh, piece into it and start taking those other supplements, exercising and so forth to deal with um, the hair loss. Okay, this was just, you know, a few minutes of this because there was some confusion around this. I had uploaded um, in regards to magnesium oil, which does really great. It's great for the scalp health, but that was external. I did upload on iron question um, and zinc question as well. Zinc is important as well, so take your supplements. But um, the, the question really is, if you can take the supplementation and that the hair is still falling, like for example, for thyroid medication or, or um, iron, then you have a DHT issue. And in a lot of cases, we all do. But that being said, there's some PCOS sufferers who do not have, you know, the full-blown effects of PCOS, where their hair is not falling, where they, do, they, they don't even have extra hair growth or weight gain or anything. So again, you have to understand your own storyline to be able to figure out what your avenue will be. So, okay, in any case, I'm going to just uh, cut it off here. It's getting a bit too long. I'll be uploading based on, uh, uploading on what you can use on your scalp and um, uploading ways to decipher 
where you kind of sit with your scalp health and go with that in, in that direction. Okay, hope you're well and uh, I'll touch I'll be I'll be in touch soon. Take care.